The Vegas Golden Knights are looking very scary going into this year's playoffs. Now clinching a spot in the playoffs. Could the bottom seeded uh, Vegas Golden Knights make it out of the West? And what does the future behold for them after this season? I'll break it all down for you guys coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. But before we get into it, we just gotta say if you're one of the thousands of people watching this video that aren't subscribed to the channel and you like the NHL and you're looking for a place for daily NHL content here on YouTube, YouTube, you found the right place for it here at Hattrick HQ, so go down below and hit that subscribe button. But with that said, let's just get right into it here, and that is Vegas is scary, and yes, uh, Vegas, the Vegas Golden Knights, like I said, have cl now clinched a playoff spot and are looking to go back-to-back -back, uh, once again this season, or back to back this season not once again but looking to win the Stanley Cup championship once again and they look like they have the roster to do it I know the West is going to be tough they have a hard road ahead of them but I'm going to make a case for why the Vegas Golden Knights could potentially go back to back this season and first we just got to jump into a few key players that have just been dominating for this team this season and the first one is Jonathan Marcia show obviously the reigning Conn Smythe trophy winner uh, this guy ever since winning that trophy has been on a rampant tear for this team leading the team in goals right now with 42 uh, through 80 games so far this season uh, with 69 points that adds 27 assists onto his total but the right the right winger uh, you know at 33 years of age Jonathan Marchessault show just seems to be improving um every year here now and he has really called Vegas his home over this last little while and the numbers back it up with 42 goals 27 assists I mean Jonathan Marshall just keeps improving year to year here on this Vegas team at 33 years of age he hasn't shown his age yet looking like he could potentially you know get to 44 by the end of the season with tw with two games remaining and if we just look at his playoff numbers from last year yes I said he was the reigning con smite winner uh, and if you just look at it here, during that playoffs, he did in 22 games, he put up 25 points, 11 goals, or 13 goals, 12 assists, sorry. And, I mean, it just proves to be why he won the Conn Smite Trophy winner. And if they can get this success like they had last year in the playoffs from Jonathan Marcia show, I really don't see a world where any other team, you know, can stop him like if he can keep producing over a point per game in the playoffs it's really going to contribute to the Vegas Golden Knights success and really help them move forward throughout the rounds of this playoffs and yes I know they're going up they're looking like they're going up against tough competition uh here with um Dal the Dallas Stars going to be a great series uh, if it does happen you got the younger stars against the you know veteran Vegas Golden Knights and I think you know Jonathan Marshall this is a guy who you know last year he was the guy who broke out for them and everybody kind of took notice of him he won the con smite and I think we could definitely get to see this because we've seen how clutch of a player he was in last year's playoffs it's easy for us to see that he can do again and the next guy that we're going to talk about is obviously one everybody knows as well and, and that is Jack Eichel and yes Jack Eichel has been a guy here um, in the NHL who has really looked good for this team over this last little while and it's crazy to think that he's only been here for two seasons or he was came two seasons ago uh, I mean it seems like he only came you know beginning of this season and last season uh, but I mean two seasons ago since he came in he's made an instant impact with this Vegas Golden Knights team obviously winning the Stanley Cup last year having 26 points in those 22 games with six goals 20 assists in those playoffs last year and this year having 66 Six points, thirty points, or thirty goals, uh, thirty-six assists. It just shows how great of a player Jack Eichel is, and obviously everybody knows how great this guy is. We've seen it for years uh, when he was playing with Buffalo, and now that he's got a kind of a stacked roster, it, it's even blossoming more. And uh, it just shows how consistent this guy is. You know with the same amount of goals around the same amount of assists it shows how all around of a player he is and if we can get this production out of him again this playoffs there's no doubt in my mind that this Vegas team could pass this Stars team I know I've done a previous video talking about the Stars and how I think they're going to come out of the West so go check that one out I think you know this series is a toss-up honestly because either one of these teams can win it they match up really well on paper and it's going to be a fun one to watch and definitely keep your eyes on Marcia Show and Jack Eichel but you also got to keep your guys on the trade deadline acquisitions that they just got and then one of those guys is Tomash Hurdle 
who came in from San Jose. The San Jose lackluster team struggled really hard this season, and he still put up 34 points in those 48 games. Now, since coming back from injury, uh, you know, he in four games, he has three points, two goals, one assist so far uh, with this uh, Vegas Golden Knights team and this is a guy who hasn't been in the playoffs since the 2018-2019 season so I think this guy's going to be itching to get back in there get a taste of the playoffs again hopefully try to go back to back here with Vegas or try to get this team to go back to back and for him to get a Stanley Cup ring I think he's going to be uh, all cylinder all cylinders a go for for Tomas Hurdle and I think we're going to see something special out of this guy come playoff time because he is a special player He's a guy who can produce uh, goals, he can produce assists, and uh, I mean, it's just going to be great to see what he can do for this team. I mean, in four games, we've already seen three points, so now once the clutch situation comes in in the playoffs, I think this is a guy who could easily take off here um, in Vegas, but uh, I mean, the other trade deadline acquisition, Noah Hannafin, this guy has been great since coming uh, over as well. Uh, in 18 games so far, 12 points from the blue line, pretty good, 2 goals, 10 assists, and when he was with Calgary early on this season, he had 35 points, I would put him at that would put him at 47 points on the year. And obviously, we know Noah Hannafin. He's a great two-way guy. He can lock it down defensively, but he can also put numbers up on the board for your squad. And we're going to talk about his contract a little bit later in this video. But right now, they got him locked up, I think it's for seven more years. And it, it just looks great for this team. I think they got their number one left-handed defenseman here for these next coming years. And I really think that with this veteran squad that Vegas has this year and, and how solid their defensive core is, I think there's no way that this team, you know, gets put out in the first round. I know it's going to be hard series against Dallas. Like I said, it's a toss-up between who you're going to pick here but I think they're going to be hard fought games and you know the games are win on the blue line they're one on the blue line if your defense can keep the offense at bay that's going to win you games with both of the offenses of these teams so good the blue line is really going to be the deciding factor in my opinion uh, between these two teams in a playoff series but really like to play out of Noah Hannafin so far in Vegas this season uh, you know it's just great to see him um, you know back and one thing we got to talk about here is Obviously, Mark Stone, he went out with a spleen injury, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he said, they say here, the Vegas Golden Knights announced their captain has been declared to practice with the team with just over a week until the Stanley Cup playoffs. So, you know, in the playoffs... Uh, the salary cap doesn't matter, so now Mark Stone is going to come back during the playoffs, and this just adds another powerhouse to this team. You know, we got guys like Marshall Show, we got Eichel, we got Hurdle, Hannafin, and, and all these guys here, William Carlson... Guys like this who have just been playing great for this team. And now you're going to get your captain back. You're going to get Mark Stone back, who played very well for them in the playoffs last year. If we just look, I mean, in 22 games, he had 24 points, over a point per game, uh, as well as those other three guys we talked about, Eichel and Marcia Show. So... Before he went out injured, he did have 53 points in 56 games, almost a point per game with 16 goals, 37 assists. I mean, this right winger, I mean, 31 years of age, like I said, has been playing very well uh, with this team and has been putting up a lot of assists and has been putting up a, a fair amount of goals before his injury. So, like I said, I think this is a guy who's going to be itching to get back to playing and getting back in the playoffs is just <laughs> really what this team needs. I know there's a lot of people complaining about it online, but hey, you go down with an injury... There's no salary cap in the playoffs. You know, you bring them in. If you can bring them in, you can bring them in, you know. It's just the way it goes. Will he be cleared by, you know, the, the playoffs? That's a question that's still up in the air. But it, it does look pretty good for him being out skating, practicing with non-contact jersey uh, to be putting back to be putting him back in this lineup for the playoffs. And when you have guys there like Hurdle, Eichel, uh, Hurdle, and... Noah Hannafin and now Mark Stone uh, with other great talents on this team. It, this team's really shaping up to be a scary team, a powerhouse going into this playoff shit again, trying to go back to back. And if there's anybody who wants to go back, back to back, that is the captain, Mark Stone. And I'm really excited to see this guy get back out there on the ice. I mean, it just shows a lot for this team. And 
If we take a look at just some other guys, like I've said, who've helped this team so far this season, we see William Carlson, 59 points, 30 goals, 29 assists. Chandler Stevenson, a guy who ha has really picked up his game over these last couple of seasons with 51 points, 35 to 6, 16 goals. We got Barbashev. He's been playing good for this team, 45 points. I believe he was uh, an acquisition uh, in the offseason or might have been last offseason. I might be mixing them up there. Uh, and then Shea Theodore, obviously another solid defender back there for 41 points, 36 assists around the blue line. Nick Waugh has been great for this team uh, at the center position as well. And one thing that is really good about this team is their defense. This is why I think that Vegas has a very strong chance of going back-to-back. -back. When you have a defense that looks like this, I mean, you're doing something right. Obviously, Noah Hannafin, Nick Haig, these guys have been a great pairing since Hannafin's came over uh, from the trade deadline. Braden McNabb is one of the guys who's up there for block shots uh, in the season this year. And then we have Shea, Shea Theodore, a guy, like I said, who just is putting up great assists from the blue line. And we got Ben Hutt and Zach White Cloud, they, that guy, that's a sneaky pairing as well, guys. If you haven't watched many Vegas games, this is a pairing to look out for as well. And that's the reason why, that's why I think the Vegas Golden Knights are going to be a problem and, you know, very scary for opponents to face going into this year's playoffs. I mean, it, it, they have such a solid decor that, you know, that second pairing of McNabb and um, Shea Theodore, I mean, McNabb, like I said, has been such a great defensive defenseman for this team this year, putting up a lot of block shots, a lot of hits, and, and as well, Shea Theodore has been great offensively for this team, picking up a lot of assists, and then that's your only your second pairing, your top pairing, you know, Nick Haig and, and Noah Hannafin. I mean, these guys are great defenders as well. And when you pair that with all the players I've talked about earlier, you know, the the offensive talent, the veteran offensive talent that they have in Vegas, it, it really is the deciding factor for me of why this team is going to be an absolute problem going into this playoffs. And, I mean, like I said, a, a series against Dallas is going to be a tough one for this team. But if they can get past, you know, the number one team in the West in Dallas, there's no doubt in my mind that they can make it all the way through to the Stanley Cup final but I want to hear all your guys your thoughts on all this down below do you think Vegas got what it take to you know do this to make it through the first round and then to the Stanley Cup final again and try to go back to back let me know down below in the comment section we're going to talk about what does the future of Vegas look like and yes this year looks like it may be the last year that the Vegas Golden Knights you know can compete at a high level I know they still got a lot of guys still under contract, but it's those role guys who are coming off the books this year. They have a big star coming off the books this year, and if you look at this list of expiring people, that big star is Jonathan Marchessault, the guy who's leading the team in points, the guy who's leading the team in goals this season, and like I said, they also have these role players who have been playing good, who are also coming off the books this year. That's Anthony Mantha, Chandler Stevenson, uh, Michael Amadio, a guy who's been great for them as well, and Alec Mar. Martinez. I mean, he's looking, he's, you know, looking good as well for this team. And, and, you know, you got all these guys coming off the books. I mean, which is hard for this team, you know, to continue their success, especially Jonathan Marshall. And this team, you know, only has 3.3 million in cap space with all these guys coming off the books for this coming off season. So it's looking like they may have to let some of these guys walk or, you know, Marsha show may have to take a little bit of a, a team friendly discount if he wants to stay in Vegas, or he can just go to another team and make a pile of money in the last years of his career. It's really going to be interesting to see what happens this off season for this Vegas team, because they have a lot of great guys coming off the books and only 3 million to work with so it, the Vegas Golden Knights are going to look a little different next season and it's going to be interesting to see what they do with this money and which guys you know move on and which guys maybe take a cut and stay here in Vegas that'll be interesting to see but what I alluded to earlier in the video and that is the and no Hannafin extension. Obviously, we've seen eight years, 7.35 million AAV. I thought this was a great contract when it was announced. I guess it was last week now. I think, you know, 7.35 over eight for Hannafin has been great. It's a great deal. He's been playing great since he's been in Vegas. And having your number one, you know, left-handed defenseman, uh, two-way guy locked up for eight years is great for this team. But it also leads into that, you know, cap space. Obviously, they traded a lot to get Hannafin. So they did want to lock him up long-term, which makes sense. 
But, you know, you got to think about the other guys too, like Marshall, Khan Smite winner. You got to think about Mantha, a guy who was brought in, who has been playing good for this team. You know, and just those role guys like Michael Amadio and Alex Martinez and those guys too. So it'll be interesting, like I said, to see what happens. I think this contract was worth the money they spent on Noah Hannafin. I think this uh, was, a you know, a great way for them to, you know, show that they want Hannafin there for a long term. And I think it's going to work out for them because, like I said, after this year, they had those guys coming out the books, but all the other guys that I mentioned, like Eichel, Hurdle, um, and Mark Stone, all these guys, uh, Eichel are still going to be there, so they are still going to be a team that's competing, but they're not going to be as strong roster-wise without, you know, some of these guys in their lineup, but I still think that, you know, the future isn't like this year, it's not like this year or bust for Vegas, I still think they can compete and, and get to the playoffs without some of these guys, uh, but, you know, it's going to be a tougher road than what it was this year. I know they only came in last uh, of the wild card as of I'm recording this video, but, I mean, you know, they had dealt with injuries, stuff like this, and they had new guys brought in. Uh, Hurdle was still injured when they brought him in, so it is great that they got to the point where they're at right now to make the playoffs, but with all these guys coming, uh, you know, some of these guys coming off the books, it might be a harder road to get there next season, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. What do you guys think that the future holds for the Vegas Golden Knights? Are they still going to be competing next year? Let me know down below. We're going to get everybody's favorite topic here, which is comment of the day, and the comment of the day today goes to Red Hawks. He says, a great breakdown on the Stars. I love the Stars, but I'm scared since we might play Vegas in the first round, which sucks. Uh, great present for being the best in the West. And I mean, I couldn't agree with you more, Red Hawks. I mean, that's a tough, that's a tough one to swallow if you're a Dallas Stars fan. I mean, the Vegas Golden Knights, um, for me, are my personal second favorite team ever since they came into the league. I've kind of called them my West Coast team. Uh, so. It's always great to see them having such great success. And like I said, I mean, even Dallas fans could agree with this. It's going to be a great series between these two teams. And I can't wait to sit down and watch it because this is one I'm going to be intently watching. Uh, I mean, I just love the, the Golden Knights. I love the Stars this year. There are going to be some great games coming up in this upcoming playoffs. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road for 3,500 subscribers here on the channel. So if you like hockey and you're looking for a place to, you know, spend 15 minutes of your day hearing people talk about hockey you found it right here at Hattrick HQ and if you want to check out that video I did on the Dallas Stars talking about them and how great they are going into this playoffs it'll be coming up on your screen right now but as always I've been your host Casey keep your stick on the ice